Hello guys, in this video I want to demonstrate my old package of Laravel daily team about Laravel charts. It was created quite a long time ago and it was created for our quick admin panel because we use that in our quick admin panel dashboard and reports module and I will show you both the free package which you can build these charts with so bar chart or pie chart or line chart or whatever and also I will demonstrate you how our module works in quick admin panel. And today we released a new version of Laravel charts with a few new features like multiple data sets and I will show you that as well. So first, generally how the package works, it's really simple, you install that, it's based on chart.js javascript library, pretty old version actually of that, but it still works. So you do composer install of our package, then you use the Laravel chart, and all you need to do is create the object of Laravel chart with an options, then pass that to the view, and in your view, in the blade, you need to add two things, chart1 render HTML, which will render canvas, and at the bottom, you need to render chart.js library and render JS. Well, three things, technically. And then the options, this is the main thing. So for example, if you want to create a chart of users grouped by created at date or month, for example, in this case, you provide the model of user grouped by created at, grouped by month. You can specify day or week or something like that. And then group by date is a type of report. And what is a chart type? It can be bar, line, or others, or pi. And that's it. Then it generates the HTML of Canvas and JavaScript with the data. And there are many, many more options which were added as people suggested something. So group by period, aggregated stuff, filtering like last 30 days, continuous time means filling the gaps of empty days and still showing that on the chart. And there are like 20 or 30 parameters, which you can check out in the documentation. And let's see a practical example based on our quick admin panel. So we install dashboard and reports module. Then, for example, we have one menu users. We don't change anything. So this is generated by default in every admin panel. And then there is a menu item dashboard widgets. So you can create many widgets or reports. And for example, let's create a report. The same thing of users. Choose the CRUD aggregation of count users by day of created ad and show last 30 days and let it be users the title and let it be full row with column d12 bootstrap class. So it actually generates under the hood quick admin panel generates the parameters for that Laravel chart and if we download our admin panel I will do that and seed some data so you would see the result. So I download the code and will install it locally. And here I am installed the project and seeded some fake users with created ad randomized for 30 days. And when I log into my admin panel locally, I see something like this. So the chart of users grouped by created ad day. So two users here, five users here and stuff like that. And under the hood, the code is in the home controller this. So it generates the settings, all the parameters like 30 days, like user created at and all of that stuff. And it generates Laravel chart. And in the home blade, I will show you home blade is just showing chart render HTML, also adding chart title and column class, but those are optional. And then renders the chart JS library and renders JS with this line of code. So pretty simple, right? And in the latest release of our package 0.127, which was just released, there are a few new features which you may check out from the documentation. So for example, multiple data sets, you can provide multiple. So for example, settings one will be about users table and settings two will be about project model, another database table, which is also grouped by date. And you can pass two parameters here and it will show both data sets on the same chart. So stuff like that, or you can customize the color. So you can provide chart color option if you want to have different color for the chart. And also you can limit the results. So for example, show top five results by the number of value of the chart. And generally there are a lot of options, as I said, so you may check out the free package of Laravel charts. If we scroll down, here's the full list of a lot of options. So experiment with it. Or again, you can use our quick admin panel to generate admin panel with charts in it with the module called dashboards and reports, which is powered by Laravel charts. That's it. A quick demonstration of what we do behind the scenes behind this YouTube channel. So you can check out our products as well and see you guys in other videos.